back and out, past your shoulder, bring it down and forward to your hip. Extend back and over, down and in. Try one shoulder, then we're gonna do the other. Here we go, going up and back, down and in. Can you add your head to turn? Up and back, down and in. This one for me, like I'm buckling in. Out and back, down and in. Other shoulder, up and back.
hold you up. Hand for support if you need. So strong leg. Now lift the other opposite foot and I want you to hold it up and over the ball. All right, good, that's step one. Hold it here. Piano fingers for more balance or challenge. Maybe you're up. If you wanna close your eyes, you need to go back to holding on to something. And if you feel like you're going to fall or need to take a step, you put that foot down, take your step. So let's lift it up and over the ball. Hold it here, best posture. Set it down, do that again. Lean, lift, hover over the ball there. Balance challenge, set it down again. Lean and lift, set it down. Lean and lift, set it down. Lean, lift, set it down. Lean and lift, set it down. Good, same thing, other side. Use your feet, light touch to get it set up. The ball should be in front of your other foot. Lean over to this side you're gonna stand on, chest up. Lift the hip and set it down. Always move your chairs however you need. Take your time. Lean over to the side. So here's my point of contact, point of contact. If I need more help, I can piano fingers here. Hold it over the ball. Set it down. Lean. Lift. Set it down. Get stable here first. Then lift it up. You go the speed that works for you. Good. Lean and lift. So I know you need to look down a few times. After you do it three or four times and you've looked down, head up. Look straight ahead. Maybe not at the TV or the phone, but look straight ahead at something not moving on the wall. Lean, lift, set it down. Lean, there's your challenge. Can you do that movement without looking? So a couple more if you wanna stop, pause here. If not, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna change out my ball for Tupperware. So here, I want you to stand up, take this, whatever it is. I want you to bring it forward and back to the middle. Forward, middle, forward, middle, Forward, middle, go out, middle, out, strong leg, out, middle, out, and middle, go back, middle, back, middle, back, middle, back, and middle. Good. Take your time. Lift the leg up. Stand down. <laughs> Stand down. Uh, this was much easier than a ball, so we'll probably do a whole series of Tupperware exercises. Golfers lean to pick up my ball. Let's try that with a ball if you did it already. Kudos. So, smaller movements here. So I'm bringing it out, then in, out, then in. Everything on the opposite side's working. And you've got to find where you can roll the ball using your quad, keep it in line. Other side, to the other side, out and in. Straight line, out to the side and in. Out and in, out and in. I'm learning tile is gonna be more slidey. If I wanted more friction, I'd do it on carpet. So more of a challenge for me. Again, do what works for you. I'm gonna go back now, hopefully went forward and sign. Step on that foot, send it back and forward. Back, excuse me, to the middle. Back, middle, back and middle. See how my toe rolls from the front to the back, from the front to the back. Good, let's do that same thing, other leg. Change your positioning, your support as needed. Let's pretend like you have your lemon or some kind of cantaloupe. Wouldn't that be nice? 
Uh, go ahead and put that one on the ground. I don't want to squish it with my foot, but here, good idea using fruit. Maybe that you aren't going to eat, but you know, wash, peel, keep it safe. Um, is that makes me for sure not put too much of my weight on the leg that's on top of the ball or whatever it is. What I often see people do is they step on it or they try to put their foot under a ball and then see how much weight they can put on the ball. That's not what this is about. This is about balance and about the leg you're standing on, standing tall and strong, okay? It seems, seems different, but we're working on this side and going out and in is helping us keep that core tight. So let's go forward and middle together. Bring it forward, middle, forward, middle. Maybe you have a water bottle, that would be nice. Forward, middle, can of soup. How's your posture? Challenge your balance if you can. Try to look up. Great, let's go out to the side. <laughs> okay, my out to the side's gotta look different. So I've got to roll it out to the side, bring it in. This leg's working a lot, keep going. Roll it out, bring it in. What am I trying to do? Activate my hips, going straight out, not out in front, straight out to the side, back in. So I'm gonna show you from the side, keep going to the side and in. To the side, here I'm gonna come towards you. Whoop. Show you, I'm trying to go on a straight line out. Bring it in. Straight out and in. Not at an angle, keeping the toes forward and in. Very good. Harder for me, I needed to look down, use my vision the whole time. Uh, now backwards. So, taking the foot from the middle, and then, who is challenging? Pushing back, bringing it forward. Pushing back, and forward. So since I have something smaller, I can't really roll it as far. Back, middle, back, middle, back. Use a mirror if you need, work on the glute, Pushing back, middle, back, not forward, but just to the middle. Two more of these, we're gonna finish for today. Good work. Push back and middle, back and middle. Very good. Okay, when you're gonna pick something up, standing in between it, elevator down, elevator up. Um, you can always practice with your smaller ball, side to side here. Working on some automatic movements. See how your coordination does. Softball, baseball, lemon, side to side like this while you're sitting down watching TV. Okay, good. I'm gonna show you if it was a beach ball or something larger. Using my support. We always recommend you put on your shoes sitting down. I'm still in my 30s, so I'm still okay doing that kind of challenge. Okay, forward. So it's more of a challenge for my hip muscle, but it's nice because it's got a bigger base, so I can wobble just a little bit and it doesn't fly away. And here's out to the side. Oh, that's kind of nice. And middle. So if it doesn't work going straight out, here's the next one is rolling it out, rolling it back, Rolling it to the side, rolling it in, rolling it back, sort of, rolling it in. So there's some ideas for how you can change things up. Great work. Hope you had a nice day at the beach here with me. Lots of ideas for what you can practice on your own. Come on back, I'll see you again.